Today, as we get started with our Bible time, I'm curious if you have ever been fishing. We're going to do a little imagining together about a fishing trip. Imagine this with me. Dad and Rick were out fishing. Suddenly, Rick felt something pull on his line. I've got a bite, he said as he set the hook. Suddenly, the pulling got so strong that Rick's pole began to bend. Dad, I need some help, Rick shouted. Dad set down his pole and began to help. As they worked together to reel in the line, Dad said, this fish sure is fighting us. He must be a big one. Finally, Dad and Rick pulled the line out of the water and saw a small fish on the hook and a very large weed had caught the line. <laughs> kind of a surprising ending to my fishing story. Maybe you thought it was going to be a great big fish when it really turned out to be a great big piece of seaweed and a tiny fish. In today's Bible lesson, we're going to hear about a time when something surprised Jesus' enemies. We will learn what surprised Jesus' enemies about Peter and Peter's preaching. We're going to back up just a little bit. I have little feet to help us in some pictures here. We have talked about how one day Peter and John, two of Jesus' disciples, they went to the temple to pray. And while they were there, Peter healed a man who, could, who had been unable to walk for his entire life. Peter told the man, in the name of Jesus, get up and walk. The people who had known this man were surprised that he could walk. Peter said, it's not my power that healed the man. The power of Jesus made him walk. Then Peter told the people about Jesus, their savior from sin. But the enemies of Jesus did not like what they were hearing. Look at these angry faces. They did not want Peter and John to tell people about Jesus. They did not like what they were hearing. They did not love Jesus. And so the enemies arrested Peter and John and put them in jail for the night. But the enemies could not stop God's word from working in people's hearts. Many people who heard about Jesus believed in him as their savior. The next day, the enemies brought Peter and John out of jail. They asked the two disciples, by what power did you heal this man? In whose name did you do this? God, the Holy Spirit made Peter very brave. So here they are in jail first. They are put in jail for the night. The Holy Spirit made Peter and John brave. It was in the name of Jesus Christ that this man was healed. This Jesus is the same one who saved us from our sins. He is the one who died on the cross, but came back to life again. The enemies were surprised at how brave Peter and John were. The enemies also knew that Peter and John had healed the man in Jesus' name. They said to one another, we cannot say these men did not heal the man who could not walk because here he is walking. But we do not want any more people to hear about this. So the enemies told Peter and John, stop talking about Jesus. We're warning you, don't speak anymore in his name. But Peter and John said, we are going to obey God and not you. We cannot help but speaking about what we have seen and heard about Jesus. Again, the enemies told Peter and John, do not speak about Jesus or there will be trouble. Then they let the two men go free. 
But Peter and John continued to obey God and bravely kept on preaching God's word. Tomorrow we'll talk a little bit more about their bravery and how the Holy Spirit enables us to bravely share about our Savior Jesus, just like Peter and John shared about Jesus. Let's close here with prayer. Dear Holy Spirit, make us brave like Peter and John. Help us share God's word and tell people that Jesus is the Savior. Amen.